Hello everyone and welcome to this new series. So this is a quick starting guide to Revit plus WPF and we are going to take a look at how to create add-ins in Revit with C Sharp. Uh, we are going to talk about many interesting subjects. So basically this video is the introduction and this series is about as I said, creating Revit add-ins with C-Sharp and we're going to talk about WPF applications, about the MVVM pattern, we're going to talk about also Revit API just a bit. So uh, what this series is not about, basically it's not for teaching the Revit API or C-Sharp, so I hope you have some kind of previous knowledge uh, about this. and. Also, I'm going to try to add some additional references in the um, in the description box, so you can check them to have more information. So, as as I said before, uh, knowing some C# -sharp basics is going to be really important to watch the this series. And the last thing that you should have is Visual Studio installed. Me uh, personally, I'm using the uh, 2019 version. And if you don't have it, basically just go ahead and install it. So, uh, basically what we're going to address, first of all, is the external commands. We're going to take a look at what is an external command. So this, this is basically the basic add-in that you can create in Revit without any panels or tabs or uh, anything of that. So we're gonna see this in the next video, in the first video. Next thing, we're going to take a quick look at the Revit API. Uh, like, what is it? Some of uh, understanding of what is a namespace, classes, methods, properties, and all of that. Then we're going to jump into external applications. We're going to see how to create tabs, panels, push buttons, uh, how to separate them, how to create all that kind of uh, interesting things. And then we're going to start with the WPF applications to create uh, user interfaces for our add-ins and then we're gonna take a look at something really interesting with WPF applications called MVVM pattern to to create these applications and then at the end we're going to create a project to implement all things that we learned in this series so if you are interested in this bear with me and jump into the first video. See you there.